Pepperdine's final regular season home game in Firestone Fieldhouse. It was senior night. Malty Kramer, Nico Scowen, and Brendan Lane being honored before the game. Here's Brendan and Nico breaking it down a little bit before the game as the Waves took on the Broncos to close out the regular season. First half action now. Nico Scowen, the long jumper there, drains that one for the senior. Great career he's had at Pepperdine. And then his fellow senior, Malty Kramer. Great game for Malty. You'll see more of him knocking down that triple. Stacy Davis, little catch and shoot there for the Waves to tie things up early at 7. Davis was big in the first half for the Waves. He led the team with 18 for the night. Santa Clara, though, a strong start for the Broncos as they would come out, would grab an early lead in the first half. Brendan Lane then had a few back-to-back -back possessions of just his size down low. Tip in there, and then another tip in here by Lane, falling, cleaning up after Stacey Davis. Lane with 11 points on the evening. But, and Stacey Davis, big block there. His defensive presence was felt this evening. Santa Clara, though, a strong first half. They would go into halftime up 47 to 31. Second half, more Santa Clara as Brownridge knocks down the three. They, at one point, led by 27 points. Jesperson knocking that three as the way. Just had to go in catch up mode for most of the entire second half. Multi Kremlin, you can shoot the ball that well, you can use it as a weapon. There is Pump Fake driving in for the end one. Davis with the block there as South Carolina had a steady lead for most of the second half, but the Waves would knock in, would cut into it a little. Kramer with the three there, and then off of a Broncos turnover, Waves running the other way. LMJ, Lamad Murray Jr. laying it in there from Amadi Udini. Cut the lead to 13, and then Jeremy Major, nine assists for the freshman, finding Malcolm Brooks in the corner, knocking down that triple. It would be a nine-point lead as the Waves cut it to under nine. Davis keeping it at nine for the Waves, but in the end, Jared Brownage for South for Santa Clara, 38 points on the night, and the Broncos win this one, 86-78. Obviously, I wish it could have gone differently and we could have completed the comeback tonight. Um, but I've had a lot of really good memories here in, in Firefield, Firestone Fieldhouse and uh, with this team. Um, so uh, I'm just going to focus on the positive and all the good memories that I've had out here. What does the team learn from tonight's game and look to work on for the tournament? Well, um, the number one thing is that we can't let a team get up by 20 before we start playing basketball. That's the, that's the main thing. We have to be dialed in from the start. And uh, I feel like we, we let them get in a rhythm too early. Um, we let their shooters get in a rhythm. And it's just tough to come back when you're down, when you're down 15, 20 points. Um, so we need to be, you know, start the games better.